So, last time after I finished the stream, I rebuilt some lost assets. I built two sea moths, one with the depth upgrade, which allows me to go to 300 meters. And I rebuilt some other stuff and made sure I had enough stock for the next plan. And now it's night. Um, okay, so I have my boomerangs. Thirty percent. I built some beacons, so I can mark important things I find. And the scanner has a charge. Power cell. Why did I keep the power cell? I don't remember why I kept the power cell. Put the power cell. Where are all my batteries? Give me at least two batteries, just in case. Okay, so. Radio message. In any case, he said one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. What about the herbivores? Hoopfish. That little green. Small school mentality prey fish with a unique method of propulsion and a distant relative of the bladder fish. Antennae. Other than swimming, this life form uses the fine green antennae, which encircle its body to alter the composition of the water in front of it, allowing it to sail into the low density space created. It's swapping the water. Purple green coloration. Maybe a camouflage adaptation for mid range light wavelengths, possibly indicating the hoop fish is more active at dawn and dusk. Behavior. While well, schools of hoopfish will form periodically and evade predators in mass, this behavior is more social than it is defensive, and lone hoopfish are often found hunting for food and displaying generally curious behavior. Okay. So, um, I want my seamoth. Okay, that's what they said it was. Yeah, the red mark is uh, where I think the cave system is. So ho hopefully it's there. I also want to find components for the battery charger because I sorely need it. Ooh, Leviathan. There are 300 meters. This Seamoth can't make that trip. Should have taken the other one. Should I go back for the other one? I'll go back for the other one. But was safe than sorry.
Okay, leave the regular seamoth close to the surface. Right, this is the regular one. Yeah, no upgrades. And this seamoth is for deep excursions. Temperature of the water, 27 degrees. Six degrees. I'll try to keep you out of crash, crash depth, but I'll need the ability to go deeper. Twenty-four degrees. Oh wait, that's a component. No, you! I need special equipment. What is that? that is that a new thing? No, it's a spade fish. I haven't read about that one yet. Okay. Wait, was it actually a new blueprint? Uh, scanner room, HUD... Oh! I have upgrades. Range upgrade, speed upgrade, camera drone, scanner room, HUD chip. But I need the ability to build the scanner room first. I can build a Cyclops engine efficiency module. I can build a scanner room. You asshole, go away. I can build a scanner room. Those are some weird ingredients, but I'll do it when I get back. Uh, still needing some other components. That's pretty deep. Twenty degrees, eighteen degrees, seventeen, sixteen. Oh, that's a cry sight. That's a big cry sight. 14 degrees. 200 meters down. Moon pool fragment. I have a blueprint. No, I have half a blueprint. One suit torpedo arm. Half a blueprint. Bioreactor. Yeah. Thermal plant. Half a blueprint. That's a desk. Well, I have a desk. Moon pool. Moon pool. That's a radio. Biodiversity in this region is 
Maybe someone's eating everything? That looks unusual. That's salt. That's a chair. That looks like another desk. And I think I'm done here. Okay. Oh wait, I didn't look over here. Cut open to access. I don't have the cutter yet. Another radio call. Great. Let me answer the first one. Where the hell did you go? Okay. You stay here. And I'll go look. Data box, ultra high capacity tank. Probably need modification thing. Everything else is busted. No log. Integrating new EDA data. That's an egg. That's a ruby. That's a tiger plant. What? There are rubies. Just waiting to be plucked. I don't think there's anything else here. That's a strange little plant. Gel sack. Indigenous life form. This is quartz, this is all quartz. Give me a minute. Lithium! Okay, give me another second to explore here. Because I just picked up lithium. There are rubies here. Damn, a block of lithium. That's not lithium. That is another egg.
inventory full. Lots of stuff. I can drop titanium, pick up a ruby. What? Diamond? Remember the materials you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. <laughs> we allow you to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Time to get out of here, I guess. At least I found a diamond. Now I need to get back and answer the radio. I wonder if I can use the repair tool on the Seamoth. Repair tool? Yep. Another reef bank. Two reef banks. But a near cave system under attack. Yes, this is where the Gloom Shroom Cave is. I don't need to mark it especially. Do I have a weapon? No, I do not have a weapon. I think I can toss the Sea Glide. Seamoth, it can go anywhere but land. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Lithium. Titanium. Need another place to store rubies and diamonds. And also eggs. AL203, hard conductive gemstone composed of aluminum, aluminum oxide. C. Carbon allotrope with superlative physical properties. Okay, what does the radio say? Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know what to do with that. Aurora, we're approaching the planet. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. 
It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Sunbeam arrives in 39 minutes. Okay. Uh, cool. Sunbeam landing site. Do I have anything I wanted to build? A steel. Propulsion cannon I already have. Laser cutter I don't know. Um, habitat. Scanner room. Moon pool. Okay, titanium ingot, lubricant, lead. You can also build a chair and a desk. Okay, um... Bioreactor, composed organic matter into electrical energy. I don't think I need it, I have enough solar power. Um... Rooms. Scanner room. Titanium 5, copper ore 2. Titanium 5, copper ore... Copper... Mm. Let's go look for copper. Copper or two. Gold in the table call that I have. Gold and table call. Now I can build a scanner room. Still can build a regular room. Uh, let's head down. And deconstruct the hatch. And I need two titanium and two lead, which I currently have. I have the titanium, I need the lead. Why can I just build the room? Okay, but how does it connect to anything? Um, eye compartment? I'll make a glass. Let's see if we can make it a glass, make it cool though.
What about the ultra something something? Chair, desk, one pool, vehicle docking bay, high energy structural requirements. Cyclops things, ultra high capacity tank needs four lithium. How the hell do you connect to anything? Okay, now scanner room. Where the hell do I put you? How the hell do you connect to anything? Okay, I need an explanation here. Subnautica, wiki, scanner, room. Scanner room is a sea based module. Last battle generates 3D map of the surrounding biome. I must find three fragments to unlock the scanner room. Constructed in an unpowered sea base, it will not function. Always draws a small amount of power from the base. In construction terms, functions like a basic compartment. Uh Okay. Uh while well, it is circular in form, only two sides are connectors, these are indicated by rectangular blanking plates. Rectangular blanking plates, which can be used to help orient it. It is often necessary to use the rotate function when building one to get it at the proper angle. It will automatically join to any suitable module on the same horizontal level at close range, generating a short length corridor. Uh, hatches, reinforcements, or windows can be placed on the scanner rooms and panels. It does not support any form of vertical connection. So take that away. 
I got picked a bad place to put a base. Um, put the glass compartment. Why can't you connect over here? Because of the trash can? Okay, we'll put the trash can over here. Now give me a glass compartment. And connect that to a scanner room. need to find the components for the actual room. Oh! Finally! Yay. Uh, huh. Yeah, yeah, thanks, I found it. I was too preoccupied with setting up the base. Um... What can you do that's interesting? Stock or tooth? Find me a wreck. Um, what is that? What does that mean that base strength is now a two? Use fabricator. Oh, okay. Camera drone. Can room range upgrade speed. Let's build that magnetite. What the hell is magnetite? Okay, so what happens if my base strength reaches zero? Okay, okay. So just build foundations. I can build foundations. Titanium. Except I can't build foundations for that. And I'm out of power. Uh, How do I change? I forgot how to change. Exchange power source to uh, power battery. There we go. Total now four. Uh, I'll keep with tool out. It's W for me. Let's just store the non-functional battery. I can't. Uh, yeah, battery swap. Uh, the controls in this game are a little bit unconventional. So. 
So I wanted to stream to my HUD, which I can't, I need magnetite. C can you scan for magnetite? Hmm. Camera room range, everything needs magnetite. Use a camera till you find the magnetite. Yeah, I need glass, computer chip, and titanium. Glass, computer chip, and titanium. Good thing I'm prepared. I need glass. Oh, this, I need a modification station. Mm. Just one glass. Wait, where, where do I have to? They are attached outside. So, oh, ooh, cool, thanks. Okay, that's a wreck. Uh, exit camera. Sunbeam landing site. Camera drone. So go outside. Grab a CMOS. And let's go find that wreck. Awesome. I need to extend the range though. That's just titanium, that is nothing, that's a beacon. That's another beacon. That's just a beam. That's a counter. Hi people. I think that's everything. That's just metal. I don't see anything else. Maybe I should still grab a bit more quartz. Spadefish. the camera and bring it back. Cool.
camera two. Can't I just shove it back in though? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's the only wreck we know of. Everything else needs magnetite. Silver ore and gold. I don't think I have silver, I think I have gold. I have gold, I have silver. Uh, hiding power at the top. Yeah, I, I noticed. I got lots of power. But yeah, I understand, we should... Turn off the scanning if we don't need it. Boink. Okay. Wait, can I turn off... Can I turn off the lights? I do have... Uh, I do have... Lights outside. How can I just... Oh. Um, Eighteen minutes to sunbeam. And those are my dogs barking at my wife. I have too many medkits. <laughs> Light, radio. This is Life Pod 4. Really? We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us. I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. What the? Coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. But I was already there. Counter. Right. Um, that, that, and that. Signals, life pod 3, life pod 19, camera drone. I was already at life pod 4, pretty sure of it. Anyway, uh, the moon pool is essential module for long term exploration, its primary function uses dry dock for small vehicles such as Seamoth and the prawn suit. The large central chamber contains a pressurized pool which provides ready access to the surrounding waters. Comes a standard with equipment for raising and recharging a vehicle. Yes, I should do that. When not fitted with a vehicle modification station, the moon pool can be used to build and equip vehicle upgrades. Sunbeam signal is about a two minute ride, but I do suggest leaving about five minutes till a minimum. Yeah, I was thinking of doing it at ten. Dimensions, connections, habitat, health, strength, liability, minus five. Yucks. High power consumption. 
thermal plant. Uh, if it's 800 degrees outside and you're in danger of burning to death, then in the moment you may as well get some cheap, reliable energy out of it. Converts heat energy into electricity. Always take some moment readings before attempting installation. Core mechanisms are housed in heat-resistant chassis, but are not impervious to extreme temperatures. The thermal power plant. It's hot. Uh, so where do I put it? Where is it hot enough? Inside the ore? Anyway, we got a log. Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Life on fast, okay? Pan and forward in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain? Okay, that sounded bad. I've been to Life Pod 4. Yeah, I've already been there. Herbivores. Spadefish. A medium sized herbivore found in deeper waters. Single eye observed swimming near the seabed from where it can keep its one eye on predators in the water above. Mottled green coloration. Common encountered in plant rich environments, the spadefish is well adapted to hide amongst the vegetation. Spadefish tend to move in loose shoals, and despite their low speed, will take necessary measures to avoid confirmed predators. Edible. I want to build a moon pool. I need foundations. I need lots of titanium. And probably a lot of lead, too. Um, no, not what I meant. How about reinforcements? Where's lithium, which I don't want to spend too much now, right now. Really? Just one reinforcement? But foundation is so much cheaper. Enforcement. Fine, I'll spend one lithium. Where do I put it? Is it need to go anywhere specific? tube compartment. This is a tube compartment. Kind of. Hmm. Why don't these come with an explanation? I compartment, L compartment, T compartment. I have a vertical corridor. All these require just titanium. So let's see what we can do outside. How about I do... Um, I do this. Damn it, I need, I need lead. I can't bring it. Mm. Well, 
Well, I wanted more foundation anyway. Just need to go find some lead. Okay, it's 11 minutes to Sunbeam. Let's go to the Sunbeam, maybe get some lead on the way. Lead can be found in sandstone alcops. Okay. Was the sunbeam? Right there, okay. How about you give me sunbeam? No, I can't change the color of the sunbeam? Fine. That's gold, not not lead. Yeah, I went to the Aurora, I fixed the reactor, I haven't been all around yet, because I want the cutter, and yeah, I just, I just want the cutter, I think. Which I don't have the blueprints for yet. The something is gonna crash, right? It's a very short game. Great, I have a radio transmission and I'm not gonna go back to answer it. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Ooh, actual land. I'm gonna beach this thing. Okay, I'm not gonna beach this thing. Yeah, I didn't wanna grind through food and water. I didn't feel like doing all of that. What the hell is that? What is all of that? I actually like it that 
you can have this game without rushing to food and water. So it usually kept my playthroughs very short when I was playing uh, Don't Starve. I hope I can still keep playing and exploring. Uh, okay, what tablet? I don't have a tablet. Purple tablet. Okay, what are you? The carbon based device is lighter than it looks, and the features a symbol which resembles a U lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, LG growth on the exterior indicated was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While well, the technology is far beyond Federation levels and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of this device, if necessary. What floor did I miss? Gel sac. Organic structures grow on cave walls, the purple sacs which arise from the surface contain a low density gel laced with spores. These burst from time to time, floating towards the surface and attaching onto the next rock face to encounter. It is edible, its low density renders it invaluable advanced construction materials. A logical construction application. Huh. Uh. Oh look, more of them. Okay, I'm here. I'm waiting. I guess it's just down to waiting now. Annoying biters. They look kinda, kinda strange and lanky. <sighs> okay, waiting for the sunbeam. What happens if I miss the sunbeam? If I'm not there in time? And that's it, you're stuck?
One minute to sunbeam. Bye, doggo. Where is it? Whoa, whoa, wait, what? It's gonna get shut down. Of course it does. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Uh cannon! Cannon! That's a cannon, people! Oh my god! Oh! Well, rescued in 11 and a half years, right? At least I have more wrecks to look into, I guess? Damn. That made a mess. Um Okay. How about I take one of those beacons and drop them over here? Yeah, I thought about that. Didn't think I'll have time. But I guess I have time now. But I want to place a beacon, like here. Beacon. Can I rename it? Beacon 1. Can't rename it. Uh, renaming it. How do I interact with it? Oh, okay, okay, give me a second. There we go. Uh, alien cannon. Okay, how do I get that? Probably not over here. Is that a purple tablet? Great. Always wanted one. Ancient alien tablet with a purple symbol on it. Really? I can't climb this? Uh, 
Oh well. Yeah, I know. But I still carry medkits. Just in case. And I drop stuff if I find it inconvenient. Pulse field control terminal. This device matches known known technologies and is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. Technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. About that repo. That level. Humongous. Leviathan class species are vast organisms at the top of their respective food chains. This species is streamlined hunter, highly developed sensors. Powerful mandibles. This Leviathan is capable of locking prey in place with four powerful mandibles and drawing it within reach of its jaws. Simulated pressure exceeds Seamoth crash resistance. That's why it killed my Seamoth. <laughs> Thank you, Datapper, for watching and helping. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Uh, echo location, the deep roar emitted by the Reaper at regular intervals is effectively so now. If you can hear it, the Reaper can see you. Profile. Scanned specimen measures 55 meters long, observed circling its prey and attacking from behind. This creature is almost all muscle, very little brain, no sense of morality, just muscle, synapses and teeth. Motivational note, congratulations on getting close enough to scan it and living to see the results. <laughs> Extreme threat, avoid in all circumstances. Yeah, it took a bit of doing. Sorry. What did I pick up? Purple tablet? Ion cube? What the hell is an ion cube? Aerogel. Advanced materials. I need more lead. Okay, insert tablet. Hope you won't lock me in. This structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. Obviously. No match is found in database performing structural analysis. Nice designs. But what's the function? Ancient Technologies Achievement. Hi. Hello. Alien Data Terminal. Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid-state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Further research required. Is that an iron cube? Is that a door? Which is what I'm doing. Ion cube. What the hell is that? Okay, there's more. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot 
cannot ascertain whether their purpose was aesthetic or functional. Further data required. My guess is both. Lights are automatic. Another ion cube. Okay, this place is big. Unknown language attempting translation. Enforcement platform schematic. This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. The facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the design was intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. The, fa the facility consists of the upper engineering section, where the schematic was found, and the control room, which is accessed via security sealed elevator shaft of a separate underwater moon pool. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility, however the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or install security measures. Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh... Okay... Uh, that was interesting and cool. Now the seamus is a hundred meters above me. And that's a moon pool. Also protected my force field. No, completely accessible. What else do you have? High capacity alien energy source. Huh. Am I taking away the facility's power source? I have 92 meters below surface, according to my HUD. This is a gate facility. This is a transdimensional gate. Alien gun? Can I have it? Okay. That's not a ruby. That looks to be at least semi-intelligent. Scans indicate the 
facilities control room. Lie beyond this doorway. Good thing I picked up a tablet. Bonk. Probably should have been here before to turn it off, right? Cool sunbeam. Okay, nothing interesting over here. Nothing interesting over here. Not sure what function all this serves. Mm. Hi. I, I would like to interact, I guess. Yeah, figures. Ow! The crystal panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Uh. Energy call. Translated background broadcast. Downloading summary to databank. Building facility locations. Ho oh, oh. ho. This device houses energy equivalent to 100 megaton nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Wow. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It's currently operation operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. This planet is infected and under quarantine, and I can't leave. Alien facility locations. 800 meters. Uh, I can't reach that depth. Case system with extensive fossil records southwest of enforcement platform. Live specimen study. Synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated CARA. Thermal power facility inside the extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity generate energy for all the local facilities. Sanctuary A corrupted, Sanctuary B corrupted, offsite laboratory corrupted, primary containment facility corrupted. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effects. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection off world. Now that makes sense. Uh, not interesting to me anymore. And no, it's all or nothing. And you can lose the life bulb because I have the camel tones and the sea moths and the dragon cube. Hmm. Okay. I need to disable this thing before I can get off. And to disable it, I need to find the cure for this virus. What the hell are you? Why can't I have this? It looks cool, I want this. 
Well, at least the Moonpool gives me easy access from now on. Yeah, how about I drop the beacon here? Alien control facility. Okay, I've been playing for an hour and a half. I'm gonna head back to to the base and build some reinforcements. I'm gonna do that off stream, so not to do some non grind on stream. And we'll be back probably not tomorrow, but probably Wednesday. Yeah, so that's it for me. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm ramming fish. And I'll see you next time.